Welcome back to the channel. We have some baby ticks to show you guys. They are so adorable. <laughs> and these are kind of unexpected. What we did not really realize we were gonna be getting them. We've been looking for some silkies, but I hadn't been having any luck. And then randomly posted on one of our lo local groups and somebody had uh, 14 baby chicks that they had just hatched. And so we drove this past weekend and get picked them all up. Super exciting, because there's all different colors. There's the buff, and there's black, and there's uh, splash. And I believe, I, if, from what I've looked online, <laughs> um, there's like yellowy tinted ones, and I think those are supposed to turn white. So I think we've got a good ratio. Hopefully, a lot of them are hens, and we don't have too many roosters. Um, yeah, so we're excited. They are the tiniest, tiniest little things. This one's a little bit bigger, but this little guy is so teeny tiny. I just cannot believe how small they are. So this is the first time we've actually had them chicks in the house because it is our first time doing it in like a colder season. It's spring, so sometimes we have cold nights and sometimes we have warmer nights. It just depends, but when we got them, it was like kind of like a 38 degree night and so we brought them in because the i felt like it wasn't staying warm enough under here they were all bundled on top of each other and i was worried that they would suffocate so we brought them in the house now it's been three days i think three days since we brought them home and um they're starting to stink a little so i just added some more bedding but i think that their days in the house is numbered we're probably gonna be moving them to the garage here very soon what do you think, little guys? Do you want to come out and say hi? Come here. <laughs> what do you think? Stretch. So I don't know if you can see the one right there that just came out. It has a little brace, we put a little brace on it. <laughs> so it arrived to us and we noticed that it had a leg or a foot that had curled toes. And I looked up online and found that you can make these little braces for their toes to help them uncurl. I'll show you up close. Okay, so this guy, we'll see if it focuses has a little pipe cleaner. This guy has a little pipe cleaner brace on him. His foot, her foot, whatever it is. It doesn't look pretty, but I'm hoping that it helps stretch the toes out because they were very curled up underneath. So hopefully that will help fix this little boy or girl, this little guy. Say hi. <laughs> oh no, I think it is poop my hand. Yep, oh lovely. The next thing that we've been dealing with that's new, besides the curled toes on the one chick, is not new, I guess we had it before, but only like one incident and it went away after the first time, but is the pasty butt. So we were warned by the person we got them from that this batch of chicks had had pasty butt already and that it was the only hatching that she had so far that had had pasty butt this year. Um, so I'm not sure if it's like a silky thing or the weather or what's been going on, but they have had, a, we cleaned it the night we got them and then I just did it today too because I noticed four of them had pasty butt again. We do have the apple cider vinegar inside the water and, the, and some like garlic, pressed garlic in there. So I don't know if I just need to be replacing the water more frequently since they are getting like bedding and stuff in it and maybe that's taking away from the ACV. This is the setup we have. We built this, or uh, built, we put it together like the tub and drilled the holes in and made all the side uh, door and all that, the, like Justin Rhodes model where he takes them outside and puts them in the brooder like run and um, we're using the same one again. We're just, we're not taking them outside because it's too cold. <laughs> so we have the heat plate in here and they are loving that. They spend a lot of time up underneath the heat plate and this is the Rent-A-Coop heat plate from Amazon, so I get people ask that often, but we love it. This is our third time using it, and it's been very, very sufficient, but we need it. 
so far these silkies have been super fun to watch grow and raise and we're learning new things with this different breed and I know it's going to be lots of fun even as we they get bigger and bigger but we are just thrilled to be able to have some of these little floof balls to ourselves and be able to raise. Thanks for watching guys and we will catch you on the next video. Thank you.